What's up guys, Steve here with Next Gen Baseball. Today I'm gonna to show you how this particular pitcher increased his throwing velocity by six miles an hour in a matter of one week, uh, just by applying this physics formula. So let's, let's jump in and let's take a look right now. And so here in week one, as uh, Dylan goes into leg lift, one quick adjustment that we made was just adding hip rotation. Uh, I know in the very beginning of the video, I said uh, this is really one physics formula, uh, but this is just one little adjustment that we made that is that actually does make a difference. So uh, here in the first video, you can see hardly creates any hip rotation at all. Here in week two, we create, we're creating a lot more hip rotation, really loading those big muscles. This next physics term is really, really important and a great way to improve your throwing velocity very, very quickly. And that's by understanding force and what that is in physics. And force is defined as mass times acceleration. So just by understanding this formula, we can transfer our energy much, much more efficiently into the baseball. Some big league examples of these guys who are really good at creating acceleration down the mound are certain guys like uh, Josh Hader, or Ronald Chapman throughout his career has been really, really good. Uh, Tim Linscum, despite him only being about five foot nine, 170 pounds, he was really good at creating acceleration down the mound and can really, it was really, really efficient with his velocity. And so let's see, take a look and see how Dylan made the adjustment. So as Dylan moves down the mound in week one, you can see here, right here at foot strike, he uh, barely gets down the mound at all. However, in week two, after utilizing more of his backside and really driving down the mound, he's gonna gain more ground and faster when he gets the front foot strike here. You can see how much more distance he really creates. And as a result, Going from week one at 47 miles an hour, he increases all the way up to 53 in just a matter of one week. And uh, Dylan's still very, very raw. He still has a long way to go, but uh, this is just a huge jump just by applying, just, uh, just by applying science. And if we can do this, and if you can do this in your game, this is really, really gonna improve what you do. And uh, so I hope this helps and make sure you get in that backyard and keep practicing, get in the weight room, get stronger, build those legs, build more energy and gain more velocity. So I'll see you guys next time.